Hello world, uh, good morning. Um, this is morning for me, right? And this is Tuesday. Um, yeah, this is Maria Banga, your psychotherapist, motivational speaker, minister of the world, inspirational author, so many things in one. And um, this is the 44th segment of Therapist Mark. I really want to get to 50 and then just take a break. But it's been awesome and I'm so grateful. Um, this is the last week of 2021, actually the last Tuesday, May. Wow. Okay. So what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about, um, you know, finding pro uh, answers, getting answers to our questions, finding solutions to our issues and wondering if they are not already there, you know, sometimes and we are just not paying attention. We are either so distracted or we don't like what we are seeing, you know, that's not what we were looking for. That's not what we were expecting. That's not the package we were hoping to receive these gifts in. Yeah, this is Christmas time, so we are talking about gifts, right? Um, you know, from that imaginary fake Santa. <laughs> anyway, so um, as usual, I will use my personal experiences. And this particular one comes to mind. It just happened yesterday. You know, I'm on this journey, right? Abstinence with commitment journey. And um, I remember the first time I wrote about this, I was like, so if there's anybody on such a journey, maybe we could journey together. Uh, I was really like, but I, I, I can't do this thing alone. I need a spiritual sister. I need somebody I can pray with. I need somebody I can talk to. I mean, this is, uh, I just putting it out there. If nobody reacts, okay, so what am I supposed to do? And you know that tough times will come. And you know that there'll be distraction. And you know that there'll be temptations. And you know that I will just run, 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 run. Little did I know that there was already somebody on Facebook, you know, just following me silently. They have sent me a friend request things. But you know, because me, I was like, nah, I don't need no more new friends. I don't want no more new friends. I already have too many. I have, I, I'm still cleaning up my space. So nope, I'm not looking at any new one. Ah, uh, uh, uh. And then yesterday, I just noticed that one sister in particular has been making comments on my post and really the kind of comments and the kind of, and I was like, Oh, Papa, is this the sister I've been praying for? He was like, ask her yourself. Oh my goodness, come and see my shame. And I just said, if I ask and they respond this way, then I know they are. And if they respond that way, then I just don't continue. And I just asked the question directly in Messenger. Are you so, so, and so person? And they just responded the way I had said, if they respond that way. And I was like, oh, oh, Mark, oh, Mark, oh. So sometimes the answers are already there and we are looking elsewhere. And we are seeing nagging and nagging and cracking our heads and losing sleep and getting more and more frustrated and depressed and angry and bitter and sad and everything. Sometimes the solution is just there. For example, this morning I was praying with, with another sister and I was like, we had even been hitting our head and, you know, cursing and insulting and crying and banging and blah, blah, blah. When we could just pray to God and say, Papa, we cannot, oh, this is more than also. Are you seeing how this thing is going? You know, permit me, I preach. I'm a Christian and, 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 and I mean, I'm getting into this full ministry and I just have to blend everything together. So I, I can't be separating things anymore. So whatever you see, this is me after all. That's my purpose in life. Inspire, motivate people from all walks of life with my personal experiences. So wherever I am, anything can happen as long as it's my personal experience, as long as it's in my purpose, as long as it's in my ministry, as long as, as long as, as long as. God has been so good to me. There's no way I cannot show God. There's no way I cannot leave God. There's no way I cannot talk God. So if you watch my channel and God is not for you, well, replace him with whatever you want to replace or just stop watching. But that is what it is for me. I have tried to be politically correct sometimes and I just realize it's not worth it. Because... It's also about me finding solutions 
to my own um, worries, my own words. It's also about me finding answers to my own questions because I will have to help other people, you know, find their own answers, find their own solutions. That is what therapy is also about. People come to you with their problems and their blockages and their everything, and then you help them out. You help them unravel. If you have not been able to unravel your own self, your own problems, your own questions, how can you help another person? And I know it's a journey. It's not like you can ever have it 100% right, but you need to at least be on a certain level of that journey to be able to really kind of help other people. That's what I wanted to offer us today. That sometimes the answer is already there. Yeah, we are spinning and nagging and looking all over the place and cursing and crying and and, and locking ourselves up and shutting down and uh I didn't even want to be on that Facebook anymore, but look at where my answer came from. Look at where this solution is coming from. I didn't want to be this close to this sister. I didn't want to be this. I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't want. I didn't want to be in this relationship anymore. I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't want. But who knows what that is teaching us? Who knows what that is there for? Who knows if we need to cut down this certain amount of friends so that we can focus on the few ones who have this message for us? When I had 4,500 friends on Facebook, I thought it was only about me giving, 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 pouring into them, preaching, 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 blah, 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 blah. But now that I have reduced to 68 or to 70, I can tap in. I can read, I can watch, I can observe, I can learn, I can grow, I can share. Sometimes we don't need that. That's, I mean, let me just close by saying, when I realized that there's too much weight on me, I shared. I recently received some more clothes from my mom and I was like, some have to go out. I can't keep all of those things. I can't crowd myself and choke myself up with the worries and cares of this world to the point where I miss it. No, I can't. Not at this age. 42. I'll be turning 43 on the 18th of January. So I'm really preparing to get into another season and stage of my life. And it's just so beautiful. So may that God, whom I so love and who gives me so much serenity and discernment, grant that to you too as you wrap up this year. So that, woo, when we meet again next Tuesday or maybe on Friday for the last uh, Keeping It Real segment of this year, well, who knows what we will have, right? Okay, to God be the glory. If you need a session, do not hesitate. I'm here, you know. It's always good sometimes to have some help. Professional or just sisterly or brotherly or whatever. But do not suffer in silence. Do not keep it all to yourself. My sister told me yesterday, she sent me a WhatsApp, she said, I can't thank you enough. It felt so good just talking and being heard. And I was like, ah, Papa, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for what you're using me to do in the lives of many. Those who watch, those who listen, those who are impacted, those who let me know, those who don't let me know, but who take it with them. It's not about the numbers. I just give you all the glory all the time. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray to you and I thank you and I wish everybody the best. God bless us all.